Muncher, say hello to everybody. Uh, close enough, close enough. Hello guys, Aramian here, and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Engineer's Life series. And today, we're going to be playing around with some pulleys, and we're going to do a little bit of building. Let's go ahead, let's get started. Alright, to get started here today, I want to... Start, get started on a laboratory. That's what I want to do here today. That is the plan anyway, but before we do that, there's a few things I want to get. So first off, we need to go over here and get started on this here. I want to use an elevator to get up and down into this lab kind of thing I want to make. For like, basically for all this stuff, like I said, I think is last episode. And... I need to get the pulley system, I want that because I think that'd be neat, just lowering yourself down into the lab, that'd be awesome. But I also need to go to the nether and like mine up a lot of quartz because I need a lot of quartz for like observers and stuff like that basically. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start by crafting up this stuff here, everything we need, and then we're gonna head into the nether and start collecting some resources. Let's go ahead and let's get started guys. Alright, we got everything together now, so now we can get started on the lab thing I was talking about. So yeah, right here, I have it marked off, this will be the center area. This is where the main platform will end up going, that will lower us down into our laboratory. But before we do that, I kind of want to make a big, like, kind of slab area here, where the platform will be in the center of, to lower us down. Make it look at least kind of nice up here on the surface, because this lab's going to be all underground, or at least that's the plan anyway. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's get started on building this thing.
There we go guys, that's the basic look of kind of what I'm going for. Um, it's nothing too fancy, just something to put here, you know. Something to cover up the entrance basically. We'll probably, I might change it up a little bit later, but for right now, this is good enough. Now, I will have to change a little bit over here because you do need to hook this up right into there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to sneak this stuff down under the ground and bring it over here and then probably bring it up here and then connect it that way is what I'm planning to do. Let me go sleep here real quick. There we go. But yeah, just sneak it under the ground basically is what I'm planning. And then from there, I need to find a place to put a button, so that way I can power one of the uh, gearboxes there. So that way I can decide whether I want this here to go up or down. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start digging this out and start doing a little bit of redstone stuff. And then I'll be right back, guys. Got all my redstone done now, guys, so let's go ahead, let me show you what I did here. So, we have like, sort of a board here where the button we press go up and down will be. It's this one right here. Let's go ahead press that thing. Take a second but it does eventually go down. I only dug it a little bit down there just to demonstrate a bit. Yeah press it again. Goes all the way back up. Works perfect. Now as for the redstone. Alright so future Iron Man here. I did quite a bad job at explaining my redstone last time so I'm gonna attempt to do this again. So let me just dig this up real quick so we can see it. There we go. Let me get all that stuff back so I don't lose it. Now let me just show you how it works basically. So when I press the button here, you will notice that sort of ticks twice. See if I can do it again here so you can see better. Once for when this turns on, another time for when it turns off. So that means these will click twice. And then that brings it down here. This here is delayed a bit so that way the pulse extender will actually pick up the signal because for whatever reason if it's not delayed uh, this here will actually not pick up the signal from like these uh, observers and stuff. So I have to delay it there so the pulse extender can actually pick up the signal. And then when this picks up the signal it will um, basically hold the signal long enough that it only counts as one pulse. It's like not finished by the time the second pulse from these like come down and stuff so yeah it's only one pulse basically. That goes into here. Now with this here, uh, essentially this hits this. There is a block in here. So right now this is turned on so if I press the button this here will get sent here. Actually no this here will get sent over here and then the hopper will pull the item out and bring it down there and it'll be off. And if I press the button again, it gets shot up to here. And then if I hit it again, it goes back here and gets brought there again. So that's kind of how that works. And then, you know, it just goes to this torch and that turns it on, uh, this gearbox on and off. That's basically how it works. I probably did a horrible job at explaining it, but yeah, that's kind of how it works. Yeah. So now for the next thing we got to do is, well, one, I need to decorate this stuff here and make this look good. But, uh, two, I need to dig all the way down to where I want our first floor to be. Now, I was kind of debating on something. I don't think I'm going to add it, but I was almost thinking an elevator, have the elevator go to multiple floors. I've started working on something for that, and I have it kind of figured out. But I don't think I'll put it, like, on this elevator. I think I'll do it with a different one. I'll have another, like, one down inside the laboratory area. But yeah, that's how this works. I'm gonna start uh, digging this stuff out and try and figure out how deep I want this to go. Okay, so I got the hole all dug out now, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at this thing. So, I will say there's one issue I've kind of noticed while using this, and it's that I think these are a little bit not all that great. So I think we need the upgrade to those steel ones here. Because um, one of them down here keeps breaking on me and I have to go down and fix it to have the elevator work. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's head on down. There we go. Glitches out a little bit. Don't worry about that. You won't fall through. But yeah, I'm going to go through and I'm going to put lights and stuff in all these holes and all that. Just so that way it looks kind of nice and neat and all that. But yeah, here's the sort of button area for here. 
just links to this here click the button turns that on and that just goes up to the top nice and easy we click the button hopefully the axle didn't break and okay we're good i got worried there for a second there we go yeah i'll show you where i'm kind of talking about so right down here for whatever reason this one here keeps breaking on me every so often so i think we need to upgrade these it would be my assumption you probably need to do that so hopefully it doesn't break anymore there we go put all that stuff back yeah let's head back down so i want to kind of what i'm thinking of doing is making a big open room down here maybe and then that'll go off in the hallways that go to like different areas like it's melting area over here for the, like the blast furnace and all that or the arc furnace and then probably have like a plant area where we can make the biodiesel all that kind of stuff and then whatever else and i'm also thinking like i said before i might put another elevator in down here and i'll have like a selector panel that goes to different floors maybe if we end up needing more space okay so i went ahead i did a bunch of grinding off camera and i got a bunch of materials so now i think i'm ready to start building we're gonna do the interior of the basement and dig it out a bit so let's go ahead guys let's get started on that let's head on down Well, I officially ran out of spruce wood and stuff, so I won't really be able to continue with building, but we made it quite far here today. Did quite a bit, and it's looking pretty nice, I'd say. It's slowly coming together, but we'll have to finish this up in another episode. But yeah, you can tell, just little bridges here. I'm planning on throwing, like, some water here and, like, water wheels and stuff like that. But yeah, gonna finish it another time. But, uh, before we call it here... There's a few things here that I found. So for one, we have, I believe this was a zombie spawner. Let me head on up here. So I'm going to probably change up my design a little bit here as I build. Because we have a zombie spawner there. And not only that, but we have another spawner literally right there. So I'm kind of wondering if they're close enough that we might be able to make like a dual spawner out of them. That would be pretty neat. So I'm going to have to screw around with my, like, design for this thing a little bit and try and figure out how I can, like, put those into it. What I'm thinking is I'll probably just put, like, a drop area over here. Maybe have that one over there link up to this one or something. If I happen to decide to even use them, that is. Which I probably will. I mean, they're right there. Well guys, that is going to be it for this episode. We've ran out of stuff for building and I'm getting a little low on time. Surprisingly, this episode taken quite a while to actually make. It's been like, I started on like Monday and now it's like Friday, the uh, 29th right now. But yeah, that is going to be it for today guys. 
If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. You know what to do. Anyway, that will be it for today, guys. Next time, well, I've been thinking. I've been putting it off for a while, but I think we should maybe make a few ranged weapons and possibly go fight the dragon. We'll see. Maybe I'll do that next time. I've been putting it off and I should probably do it. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and all the support you give. I will see you guys next week. Until then, have a good week.